In this work, we have introduced the concept of biharmonic PCA, which is the application or the introduction of biharmonic equation into the principal component analysis uh, pipeline. So the idea here is uh, PCA is actually well known for its capability or ability to reduce dimensionality and uh, recognizing patterns in data. We are proposing to introduce the concept of biharmonic operator into the PCA pipeline as a pre-processing step, which we call the bi-PCA. Now, one might be wondering why we would want to be doing this in terms of int introducing a, a partial differential, an elliptic partial differential operator as a pre-processing step. To understand this, the partial differential operator we're talking about is the elliptic form and it is well known the, the biharmonic operator in engineering applications such as stress strain, uh, fluid flows and so on. Uh, but we are exploiting here the smoothing properties of the partial differential uh, operator. So if you look at the Euler-Lagrange equation um, associated with the biharmonic operator, and then looking at the finite difference, um, approximate finite difference schemes for these um, partial differential operators, you can see that it has uh, the smoothing properties associated with these operators. Now to understand it, let's look at the Laplace equation, which is the simplest form of the elliptic operator that we, 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 can, we, we can consider, one of the simplest forms anyway. So if you look at the Laplace form, if you take a point and then if you use the finite difference scheme for the Laplace, you can see that it's actually averaging, um, it's, it's giving you the average of the four points surrounding it, which is the east, north, south, and west points. So it's, it's a standard, um, it's a standard averaging process. But if you take the fourth order case, which is a higher order, you can see you are getting um, the, the, the averaging process is higher, but you're still taking the north, south, east, and west uh, points, um, but, but, but the domain is higher. Now, interestingly, if you take the biharmonic operator, you can see that the, the spread of the averaging process is higher um, within, within the domain of a point. So you are not only getting the north, south, east, west points, but you're also getting the cross derivatives. So this is why we are proposing to use the biharmonic operator which, because it gives you a, a, a bigger region around a point to, to sample from. Now you can apply this technique to uh, as a pre-processing step for imaging. As you can see here, we take an image and then we take, we sample it and then we reduce the dimensionality of that image. But we still keep the, the, the important features in, in the image intact. So we've used this technique to implement, um, implement face recognition or eigen faces, which is a standard test to use to see whether this is applicable or not. So we take the PCA pipeline, we apply the Euclidean distance and compare the face recognition as an example. So we've taken uh, three data sets to test our approach. One is the ORL, the other is face 95 and then face 96. On ORL, on the case of ORL, we get in significantly, significant improvement if we use the biharmonic operator as a PC, as a pre-processing step in the PCA pipeline. Similarly, if we take phase 95, we get in significant improvements in error rate uh, on, on, on face matching and face recognition examples. But interestingly, if you take phase 96 as, as it is, um, if, if we apply the biharmonic operator as a pre-processing step and then apply the PCA, we're getting uh, higher er error rates and so we, our, our results are not as good uh, if you simply apply on the, on the face 96. Now, the reason for this is if you look at these, uh, the images uh, on, the, on the face 96 data set, there's significant clutter at the background. So obviously the biharmonic operator is taking these into account. But if you crop the faces, if you enhance, if you crop the faces and a significant proportion of the faces are on, uh, on the image, then we, we are indeed getting better results uh, compared to just applying the PCA. So what we've demonstrated here is that um, uh, applying the biharmonic operator as a pre-processing step in image processing, especially in this case, we're looking at the eigenphase, uh, it gives a significant improvement, at least 25% improvement 
in, in the PCA pipeline, in the PCA process. Now this, we have actually used eigenphases of face rec standard face recognition as an example, but this could be applied in many domains. Um, in fact, it could be applied in many pre-image processing steps, but also we can imagine this could be a, a, a step where um, for, for training machine learning algorithms, uh, uh, this could be a pipeline that could be implemented.